Hey everyone, just a quick one. If you are finding value in this tutorial, then please subscribe to me because I will be creating more tutorials on different topics in web development very soon. Thank you. In the previous videos in this series, we learned how to display users in a table in a paginated format. And we also learned how to go into a specific user and update them. Now, the last thing we need to do is connect the table up to the user so we can actually just click on to edit the user within this table. So if we go into our view for users, we have a table which has first name, last name and email. Um, let's just create another column. And inside there, we're just going to call it actions. And then we'll create another column in the rows. So it's going to repeat for every single user. And we will just create a link. And we'll call the link view user. And then we want to point the link to a specific route. So if we go over to our routes file, which is in our uh, routesweb.php, You'll notice that this is actually, that's not it. This is it. The get request to that specific user. Let's give it a name. Let's just call it view user. And as you can see, this route accepts the argument of the ID of the user. So we'll create a link to that route view user, and then we'll pass the argument of the user ID. Now let's go and save it and look at the page. Okay, so you can see view user here now. If we click on view user, it will take us to that specific user. If we go to this user, it will take us to them and so forth. So that's how you link up the table to a specific user. Now let's say if you wanted to delete a user, typically you would use jQuery or Vue.js or something like that, or just JavaScript to be able to create a confirmation pop up that will ask you if you want to confirm that you want to delete the user before doing that. But because this is the basics of Laravel, I'm not going to sh show you how to do JavaScript per se, but I'm just going to show you a, an easy way that I, I did that will allow you to just make one little step extra before you delete a user as opposed to just clicking on a button that hit, it says delete user and the user gets deleted. So let's go into a specific user. And let's go now into our code editor and go into the view user.blade.php. Now, as you know from before, we created a form which allowed us to save the changes of that user. Underneath the form, let's create another form. And within there, we want to put a submit button and we'll just call it delete user. We'll make the button type equals submit. And within the form, we want to give it an action and we want to give it a method. The method's going to be post and the action, well, we haven't created that yet. So let's create a route to delete a user. If you go back into your web.php file, your route file, and you create a new route, which is a post route, let's make it go to users and let's just make it say, go to delete and then an ID. So it will accept another argument for delete the ID of the specific user. Then we'll make it go to the user controller and we'll create a new method within there called delete user. Let's go into our user controller now and let's create a new method and we'll just call it delete user. And we need to accept the ID, but we're also going to accept the request. So we'll type hint request in there because we are going to pass through another thing through the form, which is basically a confirmation input field. Okay, so now that we have the method set up, let's go back into our view user and we're going to point the form to go to that specific route. So let's create a name for this route. We'll just call it delete user. And as you know, it accepts the argument for the ID. So we'll go back in there and we'll do route delete user. And the ID will be user ID. Let's just save that and go back into our uh, view and refresh it. And you'll see we have delete user now. 
If we click on delete user, it's not going to do anything. It will say page expired. And as you know from previous videos, page expired means that we need to give it a CSRF field, which is just S, uh, at sign S -C -C -S -R -F, sorry. So that will automatically add a hidden input, which will allow the uh, form to go through. And so right now we're gonna be, when we hit the delete button, it's just going to delete the user straight away. So within our delete user method, we want to accept the user. So let's just go user and then in eloquent user find or fail. And then we'll just ask it to find the ID. If it does find the ID to delete the user and then return redirect. But we don't want to redirect back because that user will no longer exist. So we want to do redirect to users and that will take us back to the users page, which is this one. Okay, so let's give it a go. We hit delete user. As you can see, that user is now deleted. I'll delete another one just to make sure. And that user is now deleted as well. But as I mentioned before, it is really too easy to delete a user. You could accidentally click delete user and the whole user is deleted. So what you want to do is you want to make a little, just a, an extra step. So in the form for deleting user, let's create an input and we'll just put input type equals text and we'll also put uh, a placeholder, which would be enter user ID. So basically, I'm just going to create some spacing here. This is definitely not going to win any design awards, okay? But as you can see now, it asks you to enter the user ID. We're also going to give a name to that input and we'll just call it user ID. Okay, so we then want to go into our method, which is in the user controller, and we want to check that the user ID is specified. So we'll do a validation. So request validate. And within there, we want to check that the input called user ID, sorry, let me just fix that up, user ID is required. So if it's not there, then it will spit back an error message. Now, if it is there, we want to make sure that the user ID that was sent through is exactly the same user ID as this ID. So if we just do if ID equals equals request user ID, then it's going to allow the user to delete. And it will also return us back to the uh, users page. However, if there is an error, we will just return it back and we'll just do, let's just make sure if we go into our validation that we have something set up for errors. We don't, let's just do this. We'll call it danger. Okay, and we'll call this danger and we'll just say, user cannot be deleted. ID is not the same. Okay, good. So now that we've set that up, if we go and refresh, let's try and enter in. So the user ID is three, but let's just make it 44, for example, and hit delete. You'll notice that it can't be deleted because the user ID is not the same. However, if we do number three and hit delete user, there you go, the user's deleted. Do the same here, four, user deleted now. And we'll delete this one as well, just as a last test. There we go. So that's how you delete users in Laravel.